to the past 100 years of records, there's what the... Now, the Fujita scale goes from 0 to 5. The original does. But, recently, there was the EF scale, okay? Which still goes from 0, but it goes all the way to F6. Now, technically, there's only two F6 tornadoes ever recorded on the... Now, recently, there's two F6 tornadoes recorded in the past, hundred year, past over 100 years. Now, everyone knows about it. The F6 tornado... The F6 tornado is one of the worst tornadoes ever recorded. Now, that tornado happened, and anyone who's still around in that is up there in age. I mean, last time this, the first F6 tornado was recorded back in 1925. 1925, almost 100 years ago as it's recording. That was the worst tornado ever recorded. It was so bad with through three states. Started in Missouri, went through Missouri, went through Illinois, and ended in Indiana. Now, the technically, we don't know if it actually was one major tornado or two major tornadoes. No one's actually really sure. But there is rumors that the F6, that the 1925 tornado was actually an F6 tornado. I mean, come on. It's, only, it's already been 98 years since that has happened. Now, the only other tornado that has ever been recorded is that bad it has been the Joplin tornado of Joplin, Missouri, which was an F5 back in, back in the early 2000s, back in the early 2010s, back in the early 2010s. That tornado was pretty bad. Now, that tornado was the second worst record, tornado recorded in history. But people are saying, people say, people are also, I mean, there's still been an argument, though, about the Xenia tornado of the, uh, I mean, people are also talking about the Xenia tornado that hit back in the 70s. They're also classified, I mean, people have been touching on that subject. People say it's F5. Some say the Xenia should be an F6. We're not really sure, but Delver technology did exist then. But the thing is, though, any tornadoes from the 1950s or prior, it's kind of touchy. What do you mean? Well, the Weather Bureau didn't come, well, the Weather Bureau was around in the 1900s. The Weather Bureau, I mean, there's reports of tornadoes hitting the White House back in 1812, okay? Now, the real thing is, though, there's a, there's a problem, though, with those tornado records because they're not that good. Because the Fujita scale didn't exist yet. But people saying, if you talk about tornadoes from 19... People, some people saying any tornado records from 1960 or prior are useless. Which, I can understand that. I can understand that completely. People saying anything after 1960 to now is accurate. Well, Doppler, I mean, earliest records I found online of Doppler radar existing was on WOCC Radio AM out of the Minneapolis Paul area. They actually had a Doppler radar from the 60s, from the 1960s. Now, people are saying that Doppler radar wasn't that good. I mean, Back then, you had to be the military, or you had to have some serious coin to own a Doppler radar system. But it's a radio station, and according to the records that we found out when this tornado actually happened in 1965, two people of this recording did pass away. This information is online. But people were saying this and that. But recently, if you go online, you can find... If you ever seen the movie Twister from 1985, that footage came from 1973. Okay, the tornado footage came from 1973. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty cool that they have records from 1973 and show you Doppler radar from 1973. The thing is, though, tornado warnings didn't even come out until later on. But still, the thing is, though, 1973 and a tornado film, that's not bad. I mean, still, people are wondering about the big one, okay? The big one, the last big one we had, now, the, real big, the two big ones we had recently, the past 50, you know, there's been a big one that happened like 50 years ago. Now, the big one was 50 years ago. Okay, the, last big one, the first big one was 19, 1970, April 1970s. Okay, the Xenia tornado is classified as the big one. Now, according to me, we actually had two big ones, okay? The 1970s, April 1970s tornadoes, those are the big ones. And then we had the big ones in 2011. Okay, those two things are, frankly, the same, the big ones. The big ones. Those are two big ones we had the past, fit for past 50 years. Those are the big ones we had the past... 50 years. I mean, when you think tornadoes, you don't think about the big ones. But I mean, the big ones are the big ones are the okay, the big one. Everyone knows about the big one because Xenia, Ohio, was classified as one of the big ones. So you got the 1925 super outbreak tornado. Then you got the Xenia, Ohio tornado. Then you got the Joplin tornado. Okay, like, come on. First one is well, they're like 40 years apart, aren't they? Come on, Xenia and Joplin were 40 years apart, just about. And come on, think of it. It's been, it's been over 10 years since that happened. And 10 years prior, I mean, 10 years in 2001, 
We had the Michigan Antoine outbreak that I was actually in of, which I remember perfectly. But, yeah, the being, there's been some big tornadoes over the past 100, almost 100 years now. I mean, the big, the first one I remember, I mean, we read in history, one time I was reading something in history, that the first tornado ever recorded in the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., of one in, in records, was back in, 19, in 1812, the War of 1812, which is historical. Now, I did not know about this, and this one destroyed the whole White House. So, according to my, so the White House has been rebuilt, like, what, three times now? First, it was done, it, it, I think, I don't know, there's supposed, to be a, there's supposed to be a D.C. fire at one time. It burned it down, then a tornado tore it apart, then Truman gutted it in the 30s. Now, I'm not really good on D.C. history at well, because I don't live in D.C., but it's kind of surprising that you think about it. I mean, according to what I've heard about my state I live in, it's pretty interesting how my channel, my company has ran into problems over the years. Uh, skip, I don't want to do that. Thing is, though, guys, people think it's weird that our channel runs like a top. I mean, my channel, I mean, I try doing historical stuff when I can do it, but right now, I'm just trying to keep my channel going best I can. But, like I said, guys, is that surprising, though? Close. Like I said, guys, that's the thing, though. People don't understand it, though, but if you want to know something, though, I think the worst tornado ever recorded was the 1925 uh, tornado because it happened right after lunchtime. Now, back at the time, I mean, you know, this is 1925. This is, um, so yeah, 1925 was a, was the worst time, I mean, 1925, Tri-State Tornado was the worst one, worst one recorded. Now, most tornadoes were, I mean, I don't know how far back the records go, but I know some records go back to the 1890s, okay, when records started, go back to the 1890s, but, yeah, it's just, you know, surprising, breaking new. Um, oh, that's surprising. I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, guys. So, time is recording, guys. Um, breaking news, guys. Uh, Elvis's daughter is currently in the hospital. Okay, um, that's all I'm gonna say right now. Right now, guys. I want to get ready and do some video work. But yeah. So, yeah. Tornado stuff. And as one more thing, Elvis Presley, Elvis Presley's daughter is currently in the hospital. That's all I'm gonna say. And now we're gonna be playing some games.
we're gonna be playing some more forts. We're gonna be playing some more games in the middle of it. Mm. So I have this recording. Yeah, Elvis Presley's daughter is currently in the hospital, and she's like like fifty four. Which I thought Elvis's daughter was a lot older than that. She's like fifty four. So that's surprising. And uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Now we're gonna play some more games. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play some more games. Okay, cancel. Moving in the right direction.